We've stayed at the Orlando RV Resort a couple times in the past, and then we stayed again twice already in 2020. First time was February 18th through March 3rd, and then March 31st through May 1st, we went back to Orlando, which is where we stayed during the coronavirus. Orlando RV Resort is the middle of the state, and it's about 15, 20 minutes away from Disney World, but of course it was closed. This campground is very large. It has over 850 campsites and a ton of amenities. Almost everything is full hookup, but in section D, which is on the right hand side here, they generally do not have 50 amps. The first time we were there, we were in section G in G94, and this site actually ended up being pretty nice because there was a tree there and it gave us some shade and it was an extra long site. Unfortunately, we had to put Leroy, our big truck, up in the front parking lot, but that's okay. When we went back at the end of March, to stay there during the coronavirus, we were back in section I. Now, this area is really nice and we were on the end so we had a super large site and we were able to keep Leroy, the spiders, and the car all there. They fit very well. Let me tell you a little bit more about Orlando Thousand Trails RV Resort and local areas of interest. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. If you'd like to see details about the park, the amenities and drone footage, I suggest you go to another video of ours. They have a welcoming center. They have a large checkerboard and chest set out in front. You can see from this view, they have all kinds of amenities for sports. They have two pools, a hot tub. They have Carol's Kitchen for dinner several nights a week. And they have a mail center and a little store. And they have a rec center where they have bingo and other activities. They have duck pen bowling along with a gardening center, pickleball, an activity center where they have puzzles and other games you can play in there, watch TV shuffleboard and they also have the little lake area can't go swimming there and there's alligators there but it's really pretty they have putt putt billiards ping pong and the bathroom amenities are pretty nice thousand trails orlando is adding 167 new rv sites and they are all concrete pads but to me it looks like they are a little close not long enough for the really big rigs and about half of them are blind back ends. So we'll see how that comes out this fall. Since we were there during the coronavirus stay in place mandate, I did notice that there was hardly anybody ever out and people were really abiding by the rules, especially the six foot social distancing rule. Now I'm gonna tell you, about a couple trips that we made. Of course, we like to ride our spiders whenever we can, and it's usually to go to a restaurant because we always like to see if we can find some fresh seafood. Boondockers is a real nice ride. We also took a ride on the Green Mountain Scenery Byway. Here's the overlook. Where? We're overlooking Florida. This is where you come to make out with your sweetheart. <laughs> They got all kinds of trails in here. On our first trip in February, we met Sherman and his wife via RVVillage.com. And we put a note out there to see if anybody wanted to ride their bikes. And we took them up to Lake Harris Hideaway, which is one of our favorite eating places. And it was revamped and looks really nice. And they're great food and it was packed. Of course, all this is before the, the virus issue came out. I'm a crabaholic, so I'm always looking for all the you can eat crab. Dave likes lobster, so we went to Lobster Feast, which was in Kissimmee, very close by. 
but it actually wasn't that great. And every time you wanted crabs or you wanted a lobster, you had to ask for it. Something else we got to do while we were there was go to Titusville on our bikes. We are doing one of our bucket lists today. We've yeah. always wanted to see a launch. A launch. A rocket launch. And there just happens to be one at the Kennedy Space Center today at 3.30. We're here about a half hour early. Yep. We just came to Titusville, stopped at the McDonald's. We got out of McDonald's, we realized the street that it was on. Dead end, directly across from Kennedy's. the Kennedy Space Center. Yep. The launch pad. It took us about not almost an hour and a half to get here on our bikes. Nice ride, beautiful day, said it's 80s, no humidity, nice cool breeze. So we're going to finally get another check off on our bucket list. Shut that off, I think. Three, two, one. We have ignition and we have a liftoff of the seven Starlink flight from 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, either this just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.